Today I'm going to be taking Arabella on a daddy-daughter date and I'm going to be surprising her with a horse. Arabella used to do horseback riding. She was in uh, English style lessons. She would go once or twice a week and practice. At some point things changed and it's because she fell off a horse and it was uh, it was a bad fall. She fell on her head and it really scared me and it really scared her and shook her up. She was able to get back up and ride that horse again that same day um, just to kind of, you know, prove to herself that she could get back on the horse, literally. But it's changed kind of a lot of things for her and she, you know, it's been a long time uh, since she's ridden. That kind of, she didn't feel the same way about horseback riding after that, those couple falls. And so, you know, she's kind of let it go for a while, but recently she started showing more interest in it again. We live next to a family that has horses uh, right next to our fence. And so she's out there a lot, petting the horses, giving them some grass or whatever from our yard. <laughs> and she's shown interest and she's actually expressed, you know, I just want to be around horses again. I want to ride horses again. I miss horses. Bename and I thought that it would be really cool if we could find a way to take her out to be around the horses again, to fi find a place she can ride. And uh, so today I'm going to be surprising her with that. I'm going to be telling her that I'm taking her on a daddy-daughter date. The surprise is she thinks we're just going to go out to eat, but actually she I'm going to be packing up all her horse riding stuff. Her helmet still fits um, and there are a few other items that fit. Her boots are too small because it's been so long. Uh, so she's going to take some of Mama's boots. We're going to pack it all up, hide it in the car, and then we're going to head off like we're going on a date to a restaurant, and then I'm going to surprise her and take her to go horseback riding. Honey, welcome to the vlog. Hey guys. I was just uh, packing up Bella's bag and telling them what I'm about to do. Yeah, she's actually outside. Uh, roller skating, she has no idea. <laughs> and I think you guys should, you should probably tell her while Ellie's sleeping oh, before yeah. she gets jealous. Good idea, call her in. I can be on about writing. So what are you gonna tell her? She said, where are you taking me? You can just I'll say, say it. Um, just somewhere, somewhere to eat. Maybe not quite as fancy as last time. Oh yeah. That's and then dangerous. when she goes in her room to change, I can go throw the bag in the car. Oh. Bella, come. I have roller skates on. Just come in. Welcome to the vlog. Hey, welcome. Bella's really <laughs> tall now. She's <laughs> taller than me. She's she is real. Just <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> on her rollerblades. Yeah. Is that better? No, you're fine. Do what you do. So. I wanted to tell you that we're going to go on a daddy-daughter date. Yay! <laughs> Don't wake up, Ellie. She'll you know, be she'll be jealous. <laughs> we're going to go somewhere out to eat. Not quite as nice as the last time. But okay, that's fine. At least we'll be hanging out, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you have five minutes to get ready. You're not pranking me already. No. Okay, good. <laughs> do we do pranks anymore? Um, I don't know. I, I don't think we've done I don't think we're in a while. Okay, sure. I'm just going to wear, um, jeans and a nice t-shirt are you excited yeah i didn't expect it i was like why are they talking because we talk that's what parents do because sometimes you're nosy bella what? So, well sometimes you try like this sometimes you try and hear what dad and that's are saying. david he, he was getting way too close last time you kids do it go get ready five minutes i should probably call david in poor guy you can come in. Don't you come in. Daddy and I are done talking. You had fun last time when you went out with Dad. Yeah. yeah. Ella's going to be going on a daddy-daughter day with Dad. Man. What do you mean, old man? He even likes his dad to himself, too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Jabin already went out with and did some guy stuff with Jory. I think we did those vlog like two three weeks ago i can't remember and so now it's bella's turn and i think he's going like <laughs> you ready yeah have a good time okay really sprung that on you huh yeah <laughs> i was like uh oh am i in trouble you look pretty thank you 
You're welcome. Yes. Have fun. Yeah. We're in the car, ready to go. Mm -hmm. I've actually been planning this for a little while. Oh, I just haven't said anything. Three weeks. Uh, it's been about that, probably. Yeah. That you always plan stuff <laughs> like. Oh, <my> God. <laughs> and then we have to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So are you excited? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. I'm also nervous. Don't be nervous. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I like surprises, but I don't like surprises. Oh, it's just a date. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Woo we're arriving somewhere. Um, Where are we? We're at a farm or a ranch or something. I don't want to sound silly. <laughs> we're at somebody's farm, I think. Whose farm? I don't know. I'm guessing... They're playing some softball. Yeah. Are you nervous? A little bit. Do you know why we're here? I know, but I have an idea. What do you think? Am I going to ride a horse? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> let's go! Wait, so, how big are these things? I don't think they're too big. So Mama and I have been planning this for a little while and this is my friend LeWayne's house mm -hmm. and I asked him if we could come horseback riding. He said yes. Okay. So he has a daughter Jana who's 12 and Curtis who's 14, his mm -hmm. son. They ride so we're going to talk to them a little bit. Okay. 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 Are you, you going to ride? I think I'm just going to watch. Okay. But I brought along a suitcase of your riding stuff. Oh! So that you well, can change. So we'll talk to them. Okay. So they probably go into the bathroom and change or whatever. Okay. 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 Right. Bella's about to get on. You want me to hold the horse? So Bella's getting ready to go. You look good, kiddo. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Is it? You want to adjust that a little bit or is that all right? No, it's good. Does it feel okay? Now, yeah. with with the style of saddle you had, there was no horn, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you can kind of hold on to that now, I guess. Yeah. Jana can teach you some things, probably. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Does it feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. Is it coming back, all your stuff you learned? Sort of. What's that, what's that walk that, it, that uh... Posting. Posting? Mm -hmm. And what's the walk that the horse does? Is it called something? Canter? Canter? Oh, I, I've done that once. I doubt, I doubt this horse would canter, would it? If it's not uh, used to it? Either trot or gallop. If you okay. go fast enough, she'll gallop. If, as long as you know how to. All right, kiddo. Have some fun. We'll see ya. <laughs> there she goes. Yeah, wait a little bit. Bella was off her horse again, so we're going back to check on her. I think my friend Luane just said that she hopped back on now, though. Just riding along in the pony cart. I have a good driver. I won't show him too much. Bella's been riding back in the field for a while, now she's coming up, but they haven't really galloped, so I think we're going to try to encourage them to move the horse a little faster. She had a little issue with the stirrup, but Curtis, my friend's son, went out and fixed it up for her. <laughs> we saw you start to. Yeah. Yeah. You're just trying to get comfortable still? You don't want to trot yet? I'm, I was used to the other horses because um, my old teacher told me kind of how they acted, their personalities or whatever, and I don't know if these horses very well, so I was trying, and it yeah. seemed like they like to gallop, so I don't really Yeah, the Wayne said they can gallop. Yeah. But if you're not comfortable going that fast, I, I, I just rather walk then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're having fun. Cool. Just a couple of girls enjoying the beautiful weather on their horses.
<laughs> not yet. Uh, not comfortable to, to gallop it? yet. <laughs> you want to get that up? Want to put those up too? What did you think getting back on the horse since it's been so long? I don't know. It felt the same. Is it weird? Everyone's watching and I have the camera in your face. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you're comfortable? You didn't feel like a fish out of water? Mm-mm. Well, have some fun. Make sure you talk. All right. Are you guys talking? Yeah. Oh, good. Are you talking Dutch or Lingala? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wife's language. <laughs> Hello. Hey. It went well. Surprise! <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah, I did. I didn't. Um, I just walked with them because I, first of all, I didn't know the horses very well, and they seem extremely skittish. Like they were freaking out about everything. There were things I didn't notice. I'm not a horse, but there are things I didn't... You're not? There are things that, like, it seemed fine to me, and they'd just be, like, jumping all around, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to trot you guys, because you seem a little... Um, yeah, but otherwise it was fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. How was it? Did you meet the other girls? Yeah, I did. One of them was the one who rode with me. The other kids stayed back with the adults. Um, how old was she? She was 12 as well. Her birthday's in January, so yeah. they're like a month apart. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Was she fun? Was she talkative? She wasn't very talkative. She's more quiet, yeah. Not like Deborah. Mm -mm, Deborah's very talkative. <laughs> <laughs> that we turned in here. <laughs> nice try. Not everything is a surprise. Sheesh. That doesn't say golden retriever puppies. It says golden rat puppies. Rat stands for retriever. Maybe it's golden rat puppies. <laughs> that would be some cute little tiny puppies. <laughs> Alright, boo. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, be home soon. we'll talk more after we grab some ice cream. I am. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Love ya. See you soon. Love you. Bye. We got our ice cream. This is abnormal. Ella got three scoops. I got two scoops. Although mine looks like about eight scoops and hers looks like about 14. <laughs> so there's a local little ice cream shop close to where we were riding horse. 
So we stopped in. Daddy daughter time. Mm -hmm. Cheers. We're home. Those are some huge ice creams. You like our ice creams? What are they? Where'd I got go? chocolate and butter pecan. That one's called Chocoholic. You're spilling. I am. Yeah, this is dripping. And Bella got strawberry. Well, she got three scoops, it. but it was huge. Where'd you go? That was 17 scoops. The Amish one? They were oh. I asked Bella and she said she wanted to go to the Amish one. Natural. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you got some ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> so cool that white shirt, shirt though. The horse is out of giant. Makes that a lot of. A lot of deliciousness. Yeah, it was a lot. I was surprised how much. What? The ice cream? Yeah. Last time we were there, I got like a, I don't know, a blizzard or a shake or something. And it, it didn't seem like that much, but the cones, they overloaded. Now we come here, no more ice cream. Yeah! 